guys. We no are no slurs. No, no, no gamer words, fellas. No gamer no, words. No, remember, no Russian. Remember, die. Anyways, last time we left off, oh, which would have been uploaded at the time of this recording, but the uploading paused because I shut my laptop. Don't ask me. I'm an idiot. Lul, 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 lul. Anyways, that's when we left off. The party had a very long fight with uh, what they thought was originally a uh, champ, a beast champion of sorts, or some corruption beast champion, but was really pretty much just a uh, beast champion of chaos. Yeah, it was just a basically a chaos knight, you know, wolf in sheep's clothing, as they say. So of course, here we stand. They are rushing Naomi straight back to the Queen and everybody else. Uh, Oresha is just fucking dead right now. Uh, Duck isn't here. Heinrich so. doesn't know that while he's carrying her. Yeah, so currently uh, they're carrying them. Duck isn't here right now because Duck was busy today. Uh, so so that, that'll be sorted out at some point this week. Doesn't matter. Much as you next time. Doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, let's guys get back to the uh, cave. The actual uh, den of the mother and Garrick and Harris and I forgot the cook's name. My brain does not work. I apologize. Don't worry, man. Uh, let's get back. Mother is not there, but Garrick does seem to be looking for something. After he notices the bodies that are in your hands. What is the... What happened there? Um. Well, you see, after we were digging... Going to get deeper into the cave and helping... I'll out tell you all we're helping them. A chaos knight. We met up with one of those and, well... It's a bit tougher than intended. Look, we'll tell you when, we're, when you're helping them, okay? I'm bleeding out. We have to help them. Okay, goodness, goodness. If them to Harris, he can help them. Not fix them, but he can do something. Get them hey. stabilized. I'm already heading sure. over there to the Herrig Potion Man. Yeah, Harris. <laughs> Herrig Potion Man. Harris Herig Potion, Potion Man. man. Oh, it be better had to leave it to the man to lands. That you wonder. Potion Man. Anyways. All right, let's not get copyrighted. No, it's Potion Man. Different song, moron. All right, it's we got to put parody. parody. Yeah. So Anyhow, do we do we find him? Yeah, he's currently working at some potions where he just kind of looks at the bodies and immediately begins to work on some health ones and some kind of healing as he uh, actually pulls some bandages and stuff out too and hands them over to you. What the hell happened to them? Chaos Knight. Like, Apparently chaos. Naomi got hacked in the shoulder and now her arm's barely attached. Mm. Kind of, Heinrich kind of lays a Russia on the table. Ooh, that does not look good. I don't... Oh, fuck. I don't think she's alive. Let me well, see. I know doctor. Let me see, let me see. He's going to pull a medicine track. Doctor is dead! Doc, tell us. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a little... Yeah, she's a little gone. That's, uh... It didn't do anything. Uh, I like I'm sorry. Her. I there's a you have to have a spell for it. I don't have a spell for that. That's not healing magic. Isn't my expertise. I just I make potions. I don't. This is my expertise. As he's uh trying doing his best. As he's uh, Naomi. Even though you are currently conscious in whatever like dream state you're in, pretty much or however it's going uh, up there, smiley face. Um. You are racked by pain as Harris is effectively just pouring a rather strong-looking mix of alcohol and some sort of potion into the wound to try to to try to uh, disinfect it. Why didn't you guys like come and get somebody else or just not fight whatever the fuck did this? We didn't understand that it was strong. Well, um, long story actually. Look, in the back pocket of the dead body of Russia is a god, or yeah, at least I... a half god, or whatever yeah. you one call it. One of those it. chaos things was among the bones of some kind of worm thing. The centipede, the centipedal weird fucking 
uh, Chaos God. I have sneaking suspicion it has to do with the centipedes in these fucking caves. That's now we found the body of an old, uh, corruption god, mainly for beasts. And, uh, Oresha kind of has one of the fangs in it, or scales in the back pocket. Ah. Let's hope if it was bound to her, it doesn't just die with her. Because that means a spirit is going somewhere that it's not going to want to go, if it's as powerful as you say it is. Could I possibly take the scale? No, there's no scale on Aresha. Oh. It, it's just, like, in her body. Basically. Oh. Like, the soul she, is... she went, madam. She ate the scale. Not, not even a scale, it's spirit, so it doesn't, like, have a physical thing. Ah. Yeah. I thought that was, like, it was bound to something, like the scale. Okay, never mind. Because I remember she did take it. Anyway. Mm. Oh, fuck. Naomi is have... fine, mostly. This should well, get her up. Survive. Well, we're about to see. And he pulls out a, a syringe with a very, very, very deep glowing yellow liquid. Comically large syringe. And stabs it straight into her uh, shoulder. Naomi, make me a con check. Con save, I, I, I actually. actually... I actually don't think I'm good at those. Should be fine. I think my con is actually zero. Because I thought it'd be funny if I didn't have any con. How do you feel about that now? Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisy. Oops. Oopsie. Whoops. Whoops. Right, what'd you Whoops, get? So you have to put the CD yeah, in the display. Yeah. Zero to con. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck you, that's 19. 19? Naomi, you are filled with uh, something and adrenaline as you your head shoots up. Uh, you you can see everybody around you. Uh, it's, <sighs> it's a little blurry. Your head hurts. Your you basically can't feel your shoulder when you look over at it. There's not much left of a shoulder, it seems. It's mostly just bandages covering where you were hit. Oh, are you okay? Oh, goodness. Okay, 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 as... okay, okay. Fuck, as panic, I'd like to cast Resur Lesser Restoration. Okay. And to try to close the wound. Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Rejoin arm... Make me it's, a it's... check. What check, bro? Basically, just like uh, mm, medicine Basically, check. But you, yeah, medicine check. But basically, do a medicine check, but use your spell mod. Can I help with this? So that no, check, you can't, because it's because it's a spell. I, well, I mean, I I could. You also can use less. Yeah, 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 yeah. Medicine yeah. check, but use my charisma. Yeah, basically. No, my wisdom. My yeah. wisdom. Do I also use my wisdom if I'm rolling? Uh, two? what's your spell mod? My spell mod? Oh, hold on. Spell mod. Spell a modifier oh, is a plus zero. Wait, what? How is your spell mod a plus zero? Because it uses charisma, and I thought it'd be funny if I put. Wait, wait, wait! Isn't medicine right? used in intelligence check? Yeah. Uh, my my sheet says wisdom already. Oh, then roll up the fuck maybe or maybe i just don't remember correctly i have a plus but, zero in charisma that's why come on come okay. on big man okay that's another 19 so that's right. plus six 25 all, all right. right i'll just i'll just do a base roll see what happens got this thing with rocks um how much hit points am i at currently you are at about that half 18 that's an 18 18 uh, the wound the wound is mostly closed. There's bits here and there, so you could still use your arm, but it's still it's recommended you don't use it for uh, heavy lifting or attacks for a little bit. Uh, which shoulder is it? It is your right shoulder. Oh fuck! Oh, oh, I hope you're not a righty. I'm a righty. Oh. Damn. Do you feel any pain? Everything hurts. What? Uh. Uh. Um. Uh... Everything. Uh, you, okay. Uh, no. Good idea, genius. Don't need to. Don't need to say. I understand. I felt the same way when I lost my foot. 
Well, at least you're not dying. Uh, Harris looks uh, over at you guys like, do we tell her? She ain't dying. Mm. She's gonna... Look, the wound looks pretty... No, most... I mean, no, I mean, like, no, he's li like about exactly. a Russia. Yeah. Yeah, I mean about oh, a Russia. That's... Uh, Naomi, I'm, I'm just gonna do, like, wanna... a like, little, like, hand gesture to my neck. It's like, no, don't. Okay. Don't. We... It's right in fucking front of her. We have to tell her. Oh, look at these white. Your, uh, no. uh, Mrs. Arusha will be somewhat all right. Um, yeah. She'll be, she'll, she'll be, she'll be fine. Uh, 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 Naomi. Naomi, oh, lay down. Okay. <laughs> Harris gives you the fakest Wait. smile possible. Naomi, just lay down. You need some rest. Uh, well, 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 well. I'll head over to the kitchen and see if I can get you some soup. We'll give you uh, okay. the news whenever you wake up. Uh, okay. I'm gonna head over to the kitchen to get food. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the chef does seem to have some pretty basic... He has some basic meats now. It seems like they've dug up some stuff that's been at least kept uh, well uh, they, with magic. Naomi's about to field surgeon herself, just like right here and now, bruh. She about to just start make a checks to help uh, so inconveniently the chef just kind of looks at you and there's already like he uh, uh he points to like a, a a couple bowls of uh some sort of odd meat soup uh and oh, he points to them just giving like an understanding feet. look i'll give him a nod and i'll take one of the bowls over to naomi all right heinrich while you know naomi is occupied gonna cover oresha's body with a blanket all right make sure that naomi uh, doesn't see it when she just looks up conveniently oh, I'll, like, knock on the door. Hello? I'll choose some soup. The door is already open. There's not really a uh, door. Uh, so it's, more like an it's, opening. It's, it's, yeah. Entrance. Yeah, there's just kind of, like, it's 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 just an opening into another, like, smaller area. Ah, yeah. And I may brought you some soup. Hopefully this can hold you over. Uh, okay. I am outside, mostly. No problem. <laughs> you oh, back there, but look, you made it back. I'll swear one piece. And dude, she did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, one last thing I'd like to do to myself mm -hmm. is cast cure wounds on myself. All like right, to. that should fix up the rest of it basically, because it is it is considered a wound by all measures of uh, medical. And this actually, and this actually gives me fucking health. All right. 14 health. I'm, I'm at max, baby. Whoop! Nice. That's cool. Your head is still pounding. Your shoulder still hurts. Uh, Harris looks down at you. Probably shouldn't use it for any heavy lifting for a little bit. I don't have any more of those, uh... Those little odd needles, unfortunately. That was my last one. There's no more comedy uh, large needles. With cure wounds, the cartilage is still kind of young. Uh, cool. So, you yeah. might break it if you try anything. Uh oh. all right, Naomi. Yeah? Do you want the good news first or the bad news? There's bad news? Sadly, yes. Uh, what happened? Do you want the good news first or bad news? Well, I consider myself pretty positive. We should go for good news first. Well, we beat the we beat the knight. It's dead, and we somehow got the corruption god out. And we have some keys to go to a special library. Indeed, yes. Uh. So there's loot in this. Bad news. Hmm. Arresta will not be joining us for the loot. Huh? She, um, died during the fight. Uh, uh, she's just she's just staring straight forward. I'd suggest you don't look at her body. She hasn't said anything. Let's, uh, let, let's give her some space. Uh, yeah, let's give her some space, uh, fellas. I will. 
I'm just gonna stand up and give her a little pat on the shoulder while kind of walking away. Guess I'll head over to the our just at least outside of there to give Naomi space. All right. Uh, Harris mm -hmm. just kind of continues working, but he does keep a like a little distance from Naomi and gives a glance or two uh, as Naomi has given time to let it sink in. How long ago has Arusha died? It's been like 10 minutes, maybe. Damn. I have Revivify. <laughs> um. I don't think that's gonna work at You don't need level. it, is the thing. Yeah. You don't need it's, it right now. It's also only within the last minute. Right, I thought I, I had think... Revivify, but I don't. And isn't it like when you guys die, you actually just meet somebody where you can make another deal? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, the the, yeah. the the terms and conditions, baby. Terms and conditions say that you can add on more paperwork to, my, to me. Yeah, you make my job harder. And if you die again, I have to sign about twice as much paperwork again. Anyway... Heinrich's gonna kind of just sit down at, like, a table. Like, nowhere in the infirmary area, or wherever what's-his-name was. Alright. Uh, Harris. Yeah, Harris, that's his name, yeah. It's disturbingly quiet. There's, like, no sound. And th there's not a lot of sound going on anyways. Even the sound of, like, Garrick hammering away at something, or even looking around or building something, it, it doesn't reverberate that much, but it's it's uncomfortably silent as you just kind of stare forward, Heinrich. To make bad voices go away, he will now lift heavy rock. Uh, AKA, he will try to work all out. Right. Try to get the voices out of his head. All right. I think I'm gonna... Start taking a closer look at these keys. See what's up with these things. Each one of the keys has a simple symbol on it. One is square, one is triangle, and one is a circle. They are heavily engraved, so they are magic of some sort. Uh, pretty simple runic magic, though. Uh, besides, the, the circle key is radically different, and it is slightly bigger than uh, the other ones. Hmm. If you'd like to, you can try to make a history check or an arcana check, depending on what you. I think I'll, I'll do an arcana. Wait, uh, I'll try to do an arcana on it. Keyword try. All right. Oh wow, that's a fourteen actually. Fourteen. There, the magic on it, to your knowledge, is pretty basic uh, locking magic. Okay, one thing goes to one thing, and it works with a also magic lock. Uh, the circle being bigger is kind of usual, like, it's not uncommon for what is a main key to be bigger. Uh, plenty of places, though, will make it the same size or smaller than the other ones, so it looks insignificant. So, it's one... so if a thief gets it, they're not going to know which one they should use first and foremost on a door. That sort of thing. But otherwise, it's Ryan. it's basic la locking magic. The only thing, why is Duck in the Silk Road? I think he went to the wrong one. Yeah, <laughs> I think Duck missed his... Uh... <laughs> you missed the room with the basketball boys. Actually, have so much time now, but I'm not sure the recording would like a bunch of music and wind. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Win and all. See how how it sounds. Yeah, Hello, duck, duck, we can't hear it. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, there's no, we can't hear, like, the sound. Wait, try talking. I have to talk right on, uh, on right now. Oh, yeah, we can't, we barely hear it. Oh, it's, yeah. only like when, it's only, like, when you're actively talking. Yeah. But that's fine. Also, holy sh What do you mean, holy shit? What do you mean by this? Yeah, what does he mean? He He went dark, he went quiet. Y'all are just, like so quiet for me. Hold on. Oh my oh, god. I, she probably be 
because you're on your phone. Uh, yeah. So, currently, um, you're lifting, you're just lifting rocks that are in the way of a little area. And Garrick is just kind of giving you a watch. Most of the rocks are just in the forge, and, uh, honestly, you're just lifting, Heinrich. You're, like, your brain is physically, you're forcing your brain to focus in on just lifting and lifting and lifting. And Naomi, I imagine, is still pretty gassed. And Carius, I don't, I don't know about Carius. What's Carius feeling? How's he doing? Besides looking at the keys. Not? Yeah, yeah, what's up, what's up? What's curious to him besides looking at the keys? Hmm. I guess... Hmm. More of like getting... Maybe like trying to get to the kitchen. I'm, I'm sure I'm feeling like a little hungry. Hmm. After that. There's Just no... trying to get some basic grub. And then maybe start planning out when I want to actually go out and then use the keys to get the book. Alright. Chad, he is he is not sad about Oresh's death. Chat room, he does not care. He, we do not care. <laughs> he literally well, said I mean, he only he just does not care. I he barely only... knew her! I hardly yeah. know her. Only met her for like two days, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not really that... Nah, um... you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that just... attached. Just sort uh... of... Oh, oh, Now no. that Duck's here, I think we can do that segment with him now. Yeah. Um, you, there's some food laid out, like, before. There was some for Naomi that you grabbed, but there's, uh, food for you guys. As you guys had to go to Harris in a hurry, and the, the chef watched you pass by, because you had to go to the, you know, the kitchen to get to Garrick and then to the to the alchemy room where Harris is. And with that, Duck, are you ready? Duck. Ducky. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting that I have pushed a talk on. No, you're fine. You're fine. Are you That's ready? No biggie. Yeah, I, 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 I would assume so. Yes. Do we want to jump into a different channel, and these guys can like be a little silly to themselves, or do we want to just like. Oh, yeah. What? Lol. We'll see you guys later. I yeah. just let go of the push to talk button right as I said that. Let us let's go. go. To, let's go to gaming then. You guys can chatter right. amongst yourselves. They're going. Bye bye. To if <laughs> there he is, there he is, there he is. Hi, Mrs. Oresha. You know, it hasn't been that long. It's been maybe a week. You, you don't really know how long it's been in the real world or the above world uh, since you've actually like talked to Dresden at this point. It, it's been a while to your knowledge, though. And before you, as you wake up, your eyes, uh. Well, your eyes slowly open, and you are met with the familiar-looking office of Dresden. And sitting in the same chair as he was before is Dresden, looking at you, not too surprised, but mm, he looks a little frustrated. Uh, what was it that uh, took you this time? Duck, you have your own voice to talk, Duck. Duck! Ducky! I'm sorry, a friend approached. Oh, a random encounter. Anyway. Uh, not so happy to see me, are we? Uh, it's not your fault, it's uh, just some other stuff. Disregard on the annoyance of hesitation that they may put forth. Am I... Am I allowed to ask? It's nothing that would concern you. Alright then. So what brings you back? Well, we may or may not have decided to fight something we were not ready for. Mm-hmm. Pretty common with the, the more newly Got undead. A little... Yeah. Sort of my fault. I'll take your word on that. I'm gonna move away from this wasp. Wasp. I am now away from the wasp. Alright, nice. 
Ah. Yes, that is common of the more newly undead. Regardless, though, are you ready to make a deal once more? Uh, yes. Although I do have one question. And what would that question be, Mrs. Loresha? Is it possible to make myself less human? What do you mean, less human? Uh, for example, if I were to take the human aspect out of my other eye. Mm -hmm. Well, that can be arranged if you're willing to trade such things for such things. But before you can do that, before that decision, you must decide what you will once more give up to continue on in this world. Though I will remind you, if you not if you do not wish to continue, you can simply just give up and pass on. I'm not going to give up until I have what my until father would have, have wanted. Until you have your revenge. That too. Ah, uh, typical of the undead. Ah. Uh. Well then, there are plenty of options. You can choose to lose. You can lose that eye, yes, but that would not be giving something up. You would get it for giving up, but what is it you would like to give up, Orasha? You have memories, you have associations, you have friends, you have family. You have many, many different things you can choose to give away fully. Continue on. Hmm. Would you like to give a part of yourself? Lose a limb? Lose something of yourself? Lose a personality trait? Lose an emotion, even? <sighs> this is a much harder decision now, now that it's the second time. Hmm. I get that a lot. And I, I, I have assumed that you've done this at least a thousand times. Uh, multiply that by a couple hundred and sure, yes, something to that effect. I kind of feel sorry for you. This is simply my job. It is what I do and it is what I must. You shouldn't also, feel so while I'm here, I'm curious. Curious on what? S Sarah. Oh yes, the spirit you were brought with you. Well, now a spirit. Unfortunately, it will have to give something up as well, but that is not for you to decide. That is for it to decide and for it to wait on. But rest assured it is not gone. It is simply going to become undead, just like you. If it chooses to go that route. Hmm. Shit. Having a hard time deciding? A little bit. Understandable. It is never quite so easy to decide these things a second time, as you've stated and as I have said before, but you'll find something eventually, will you not? I would hope so. There are many things, Mrs. Arasha. Well, if you were to be as so exasperated with something, you could be willing to lose a skill, even. I've met some... Some undead who are willing to lose a skill to simply go forward and continue in life. Lose skills? Yes. I had a writer come in. His writing had been the death of him. Uh, somehow, some shape or form, I do not remember. But the one thing he wanted to be rid of, to go on forward and be rid of in general for however pain has caused him, was his ability to write. His ability to write so well. And he took it. He left, and he was never, never able to write again. 
I'm not sure if we still the rooms out there, though. I don't remember all, the, all and everybody I have to deal with, I just remember basic things. Unless they really do catch my fancy, but... After all these years, none have. So... So... I'm not doing anything for you. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Hmm. So, about that last question that I asked, the lose, losing an aspect of my humanity. Yes. Would it be possible to embrace my more demonic side? Yes, of course. You'd gain different aspects about yourself. Depending on what you're trying to embrace about yourself, you could go about other ways of your succubus side and embrace more of that to be more charming, have more personality, be able to attract people as your sort tends to, and feed all of them with much more ease. But you could also simply just grow more horns. You could... Get some more scales, or if you really were insistent on it, as some are, you could grow goat hooves, as some demons have. The older demons, the more ancestral ones. Tubes? Goat hooves. What, what are these tubes supposed to do? Well, the goat hooves will just allow you to traverse mountains easier, but most of them that I've met that will take them for losing an aspect of their humanity... Mainly just do it to, well, simply put, look more like an original demon to fool other demons. I'm sure I don't have to explain how power works where you're from. You could also get something like wings. You could take on the more interesting forms, even. I met... Uh, they weren't quite a succubi, they were something similar, not concubi, and not uh, the other one. But they... Hmm, they were willing to lose an aspect of themselves, an aspect of their humanity, something that kept them from truly falling over into what they were becoming in the end. They took away their care for what they ate. One would say they became somewhat cannibalistic to other demons, other humanoids, other races. Though they wanted to simply be the best survivalists they could be, and... In a manner of speaking... What they were granted did help that aspect. So if I were to lose, let's say, the sight of my human half... Yes. That would be a possibility, yes? Of course. You could simply lose sight in the other eye, and eventually it might turn out like your other eye, or if you're willing to go a little further, I've of course mentioned before, though I... A lot of undead seem to forget it. The slaying of unruly undead, those who break their contracts, break the ties that bind, uh, beat around the rosebush in some sort, killing them, well... To put it pretty bluntly, it's like a bounty. And, if I am looking at it correctly, one of your friends has that thing. I believe it is the, uh, more patron-aligned one, that Carius fellow. That one? He that... looks much more human than any of us did. He's not undead, no. I have to watch over... I have to take a look at peaks here and there of all who I manage, which takes an unbelievably long amount of time, and is one of the worst aspects of this job, honestly. That Carius fellow... That... Uh, that... How you put it? Corruption Knight... He... That was an undead. One of the undeads that had been unruly broken their binds, wished to serve a different master. Not like undead can't, but... They have a contract with the Death Gods. A corruption Knight? The thing that we tried to fight. 
Yes, the Corruption Knight. Or Chaos Knight, more accurate name. It was undead, though I do not remember its name, and I don't remember most other things about it. I just know that it was undead. Carius has bagged the kill, for more hunter speak. So if he were to pass on, and end up with whatever meteor there end up, he ends up with me, though he could end up with me if he were to go through that bit of the sea again, he might have a chance of either getting something else, some extra ability as an undead, if he were to choose to come that way, or he might get to skip out on losing something for the deed that he has done. Now, of course, that is only for the more powerful undead. I see. Hmm. I've got a question. Go ahead, shoot. What exactly does... Is it only the final blow that matters? For the most part, yes. Originally, well, before I was in this uh, position, and I experienced uh, undeath myself, it was originally that whatever group of undead, were they properly aligned with a deity or some sort of death deity or the death gods themselves or some other entity of notable power, could simply just kill something and they all get something from it. Now, of course, that can happen with much more powerful undead, but that would be looking at something of the accords of an undead whale. Something huge. For a singular undead, even as powerful as that Chaos Knight was, well, it just depends on who gets the final blow. Otherwise, you don't have an easy way out of not losing something, and the forces below, they do not like that idea. He says that with a, with a bit of a sour look on his face. Interesting to know, I suppose? Also, I've got another question. Go ahead. Why exactly do the me you mediators of the will keep the objects that you've uh, gained? It acts as something of a... Hmm, think of it like putting something on an altar and the god receiving it. In most instances, yes, putting food on an altar simply turns into life force for a god. Influence of some sort. For us mediators, we have to keep it as a, a collection of sorts. Not tr Some of them treat it as trophies, the more malicious ones, though they tell you otherwise. They tell you unfortunate souls lose unfortunate things, and they get to keep to make sure the Death Gods know what they've gained. That is not wrong. The Death Gods make them, make us keep them, so that they can catalog what all has been lost and transfer them onto other things. Death gods, much like some of the others, uh, some other humanoids, even some animals that have been granted sentience by uh, someone like Seraph or other beasts or some of their folk, are alchemists in that way. They still create new creatures from what is left over, though they are never pretty. And I pray you never have to deal with one. No promises about that. I believe I've made my decision. Alright. What is it you have decided upon? I shall lose my human... human eye. Alright. And take it much more devilish. Alright. With that, um... He does something he hasn't done before. Uh, whereas you guys had woken up on the beach, practically you'd just been knocked out on the beach, and you'd been, like, you, you had lost, uh, just whatever had happened, whatever you'd given had just been lost, and you didn't really feel it, like, like, if you sacrificed your arm entirely, yeah, you wouldn't feel your arm anymore, but this is a different thing, as he effectively plucks your left eye out. It hurts, it stings a little bit, but it's not too much, as you can almost begin to feel, uh, the new, more demonic eye... Uh, begin to form in your socket, and it does hurt. It hurts a decent bit. You're beginning to grow a headache. Uh, and he gives you a look over for saying, 
Is that all you would like to sacrifice? Would I need to sacrifice more? No. But if you wish to... Uh, put in work ahead in case it happens again, which... I assure you it will happen again. Then you can just simply give up something else as well. You wouldn't come back here, you would just be brought back where you were. That sort of thing. I have a question. Where, where will I be whenever I return? Well, it depends. Would you like to be somewhere else, or would you like to be wherever your body is? Pro I, would, I would hope wherever my body is. And if that is what you wish, it is what you will get. S simple as that. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to ask me or no, go ahead, feel free to ask. I'm, unfortunately, for the rest of however long this lasts, I am all ears. Hmm. Just for reference, are you single? <laughs> oh. I am. Un Why are you asking me this? Just curious. I am the equivalent to an underpaid man working in a bakery. Well, not really the equivalent, but uh, you get what I'm just saying. Of course I'm single. I'm not sure why you'd ask that, though. Uh, no reason. So totally you wish... not weighing options or something. Uh, nope. Are these options you can weigh while still in my office, or are the options you can weigh while you're back in your body? Sorry, one more time. Are these options you can weigh that have to be weighed in my office? Or are they options that can be weighed back in your body in that wretched... Uh, mm. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. That would require something else entirely to learn that. My current options are a bit... Eh, not to my taste. Meaning? I don't like any of them like that. Uh... Oh. Oh, that matter. That's not quite what I mean. But... Oh. But uh, what, what, what did you mean? Uh, nothing you need to worry about unless you're willing to give more. How would you feel if I gave up my left arm? Would you want it to be replaced by something? What could it be replaced by? Well, you could go about the same route as your friend Heinrich. You could get a odd goopy arm. You could get the arm of another race, which would uh, grant something. And uh, you could simply replace it with a we with a natural born weapon of some sort. Think. Think a bone knife that comes from your arm. Uh, like some sort of odd uh, drawing. Like oh. some sort of like arm blade, but it's just my arm. Uh, sort of, yes. It could morph into that. It could be naturally put in there. Something of that sort. Uh, you could get another eye there if you wish. You can... Uh, to put it pretty blatantly, besides leaving out the options that are more uh, sense uh, sensible... You can effectively replace your arm with whatever. You could have another eye there. You could have a whole other head there if you wish. You could replace your arm, uh, if we had it, with a dog. But of course, those are uh, not something I think would be appealing to most. Also, I assume if I were to take that natural arm blade thing, it, it would hurt to actually use. Sort of. Though, if you're willing to... Well, I could rescind it. You could have a third arm if you weren't getting rid of your arm and you were sacrificing your eye fully. Yeah, no, I kind of like my eyes. Alright, well. 
you still have options with your arm, of course. You could have it turned to a normal blade, have the arm with a different race. It would be a little weak at first, of course, but I've already uh, I've explained that enough well, beforehand. But, but what is it you Actually, would like to now do? now that I think about it, I have two wings on my back. <laughs> could I, in theory, replace them with arms? You could, yes. So, if I were to put essentially a down payment of two deaths, could I just remove both of my wings and put arms instead? Effectively, yes. They'll be a little weak at first, and they'll be like that. And they don't have to be arms, they could be spider limbs. I know there are certain draw, uh, draw nobility and royalty that have that. Uh, some undead have taken that before. Well, as a blacksmith, I'm more thinking about the possibilities of better creation of my weapons. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want them to be normal arms that can build things, you would be allowed to, yes. I would like to do that. Then in turn... Mm -hmm. What is it you're willing to sacrifice for your second set of arms besides your wings, simply? Two wings make up a whole... Uh, you, you know, 50, two bouts, two things of 50 silver make one gold, two, the, two, two bits of 50 gold make up one platinum, that sort of thing. What is it mm -hmm. you would sacrifice for the second set of arms on your back? Because your wings are already doing that, unless you wish to, uh, do trade with I, of course. So what I so I would have to give more than just my wings. Yes, two wings complete the set, and they are worth effectively one. Hmm. I suppose my tail is an option. Such as up to you, of course. Hmm. Gosh, freaking dang it, didn't do the push to talk, bruh. No, 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 no. Let's get rid of that tail, then. Okay. He takes a, a knife from his ass and effectively uh, cuts your tail off. It hurts, uh, as stated before, but not as much as you think it would. As, uh, you know, you can slowly begin to feel... Well, he cuts off your, uh, your tail... And your wings, of course, for the full set of arms. And you slowly, you're slowly beginning to feel these arms grow on your back, basically. Is that all you wish to I'm do? I feel so uncomfortable. Oh, it's a, oh, it is always uncomfortable the first time. I'm not sure hmm. whether to take that as an innuendo or not. It is not an innuendo. I promise. I do not say such things. I am not a certain patron saint of a certain sort that will not be named. Now, is that all you wish to give? I mean, is that all you're willing to take? Uh, as, per as, as is written on the scrolls, I am... I have to... Adhere to what you want until you can no longer give. So if you wish to, yes, you could replace everything. But even then, you would be... Well, whenever you go back to the real world, uh, to that god-awful illusion, uh, you'll, be a little, uh, you'll be a little duller in color as well. As is part what of being undead. What do you undead. mean by illusion? He simply gives you a smile. That is for you to figure out, and me to know. Oh, you sly little bastard. Yes, 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 yes. I, yeah, I get, I get it often. Why do you have such a cute smirk? I mean, what? I didn't say that. Um, yes, I believe that's all I needed to know. 
All right. I will send you back to your friends, and that would bears repeating to some degree. I'm sure you understand eventually. Hmm, how to, how to describe, how to put this saying? I would uh, be weary of a silver woman if you were to come across her. The silver woman? Yes. Now, back you go. And you are effectively knocked out as uh, you are uh -huh. thrown back into your corpse. Back to one shot, baby. Hi. 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 Uh, hi. Oh. Logan's in the bathroom. Chat, back, kill this actually. guy? Also, I'm back, actually. Hey, Naomi, are you oh, still, shit. like, on the thing in Harris's room? What? Are you... Because you're basically putting, like, a small table in Harris's room, so, you know, they could do... You can do mm -hmm. filter and stuff. Are you still in there? Um... Arusha was on a table, right? Arusha was not. Oh. Where was Arusha? Uh, Arusha is... She's in the room, but she's currently standing up and looking at you. No, when she was laying down. Oh, when she was laying down. She was, like, thrown in a little corner of the room uh, behind you, so you couldn't, like, look up and see her. All right. Uh, Naomi's asleep next to her. Uh, Arusha, you... Her, her, her eye's very puffy. Naomi, or, uh, Arusha, you feel cold. You feel incredibly cold. Your head hurts, your back hurts, uh, your wings are gone, your tail is gone. And they have been replaced with what I will let you describe to the party whenever you fully see them. And you feel some warmth on your leg as Naomi is laying against it, uh, asleep, and she looks as if she's been crying. Alresha sees the, uh, having cried Naomi and just, like, uh, proceeds to, like, pull her up into, like, her arms. Right. Proceeds to cry. <laughs> As a second set of arms also wraps around Naomi. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and these arms oh, are... Oh, got that one person from Mortal to, Kombat. uh, Alresha's other arms. However, they're much skinnier. Why did you trade? How did you get arms? <laughs> <laughs> that's for you to listen oh, to the episode. Yeah, that's for you. That's for me to know I'll and you to listen. kill you. I'll fucking <laughs> kill you. I don't. I don't. I don't like this plotting you have going on here. That's my job. <laughs> okay. Okay, Riley. All right. All right. Actually, actually, I'm gonna straight up fucking tell you. When I walked by to get a drink in, Aust in Austin's room, I heard something about a Russia's left eye being plugged. So I thought she was just gonna have two really cool eyes. No, she has a second set of fucking arms now, apparently. I mean, she does have the really cool eye, though. Oh, it's two or one? You retain the eye, okay. Her, her, her <laughs> left eye is basically the same as her right eye now. Oh. So she traded her eye and got arms? How the fuck does that work? Arusha can explain that to you. Yeah, I can explain. What did she, what, what did she give Dresden some head? And he was like, all right. She did Maybe. ask Dresden if he was single. This isn't I mean, a joke. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it literally did. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. I what? thought it was funny. No, no, nah, you, you fucking pull my leg, man. This ain't true. This is true as shit. You'll, you'll see in the episode. Liar, liar, plants for hire. Nobody got head. Nobody got head. Sex isn't canon yet. Sex I'm is pretty not sure Sex it's does not, not exist in this world. Yeah, until John J. Jackin invents it. <laughs> until Oresha and Dresden. Shut up. Anyway, does Naomi Die. wake up or is she just asleep? I think she was already awake. Oh, shooing. <laughs> oh, sweet angel. What the Naomi fuck angel. happened to you? Harris is like staring at you and he, he looks a little freaked out. Oh, hello. Yeah, Harris. hi, hey, yeah, welcome back from the dead, which is not normal. <laughs> what the fuck ha- why are there aren't- what the fuck? What? You don't like my uh, my own version of your spider what the limbs? Is, is, did a truck just go by? Like, what the fuck was that? No, there's a bunch of beeping. There was a parade that was going on. Yeah, uh, man, <laughs> I, I don't... I just hear a horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, uh, uh, Russia, I don't... Um, So, spider limbs are usually on, like, spiders, and they have, they're not, like, arms 
A red, they're not like arms, Where, man. Where'd you get a second set of arms? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't understand. Where'd you get those arms from? I, I, that's normally they're like spider limbs. They're not like you know like arms. That's not. I mean, uh, it, it's fucking weird. You're kind it's of a not freak. Normal. You're not normal. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of a freak right now. No, like no, some no, no. kind okay, of okay, Spider Man. Harris, 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 calm down, calm down. She's like motioning with like two hands at the same time. <laughs> oh, can back, I calm down? Look at what you're her, doing. Her, like, normal hand. Listen, I okay. So. Me, Heinrich, and Naomi have all made deals with the mediator of the will. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of got, you know, I got that bit. I kind of figured that out, given you're all undead. I, I could kind of sense it on you. Uh, but I but I don't, uh, the limbs. Ugh. Yeah, I sort of replaced my wings and my tail for wings. And as you can see with my now left eye, it is now more demonic than it was before. Yeah, you're also a couple shades uh, duller than you were before. Am I? She he, he pulls out a mirror, and whatever color Rush is, like the like the the pink red, she's a she's a much duller version of that now. Oh, it seems I am. If yeah. she's, we're already losing color after the second death. A Russian made oh. a special deal, <laughs> smiley face. Dude, Arusha, did you really give him head for him to get rid of your skin? Maybe. <laughs> you would have. You. Maybe. <laughs> I would have rolled Constitution Maybe. for that idiot. Okay. Arusha yeah, would have failed uh, that Constitution uh, saving uh, throw. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, well, now that you're awake and you're and and you're up. Uh, um. I mean, you should go see Heinrich. You should. You should go see. Uh, uh, curious. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're really worried about you. I will go talk to them later. I kind of need to nap. Everything hurts. I'm in pain. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's great. Go somewhere else, please. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, you bitch. Thanks, Finn yeah, boy. Yeah, call me that all you want, little boy. Okay, bud. Uh, just sleep somewhere. I wouldn't be able to see you normally. I don't... Uh... Okay, and anyway, I actually, like, have to go for a little bit. Okay. I'll be back later. Bye 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 So, All what's right, so from my point of view, um, I am, uh, I'm eating my food, and in DM, I have a question. Yes, yes, yes! Can, can this count as a short rest, please? Yes, yes! Yeah, it's I a long. <laughs> it's a fucking long rest, bro. You you get your health back as well. No, I'm at short rest. I just want my packs back. Understandable. And plus, I want to go get this fucking book. He wants to read. He's a nerd. Ah, oh, reading and He writing. wants to read nerd emoji. Isn't that really yeah, yeah, weird? whatever. Yeah, whatever, Wingus. Wingus. What did he mean by this? Yeah, uh, what do you mean? Oh, you know. What do you mean? I know. Chad, he's speaking nonsense. You know. I don't know, Alice. Shatters, he's not a knower. Anyways, so yeah, you're eating. You're figuring your 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 next plan of action out. Yes. Uh. Charles is nibbling off of your soup as well. He is simply chilling. Soup. 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 What's the Heinrich doing? What is the lifting Heinrich heavy doing? rock to keep keep noise out head? You're still lifting rocks. He just kind of gives you a look. He says, uh. Hey, uh, Heinrich. Yeah. You, uh, you, uh, you, you okay there, man? Are you? No. Y yeah, that's. Uh, you want to talk or something? No. Okay, don't. Uh, don't hurt yourself. Those boulders are quite large, and they can hurt you. And yeah, I'll just be over here if you need me. He's just—he's just, he's just totally backing away. <laughs> 
please do. If you need me, I will not be here. I am going away. Goodbye. So long. So long. Farewell. Avidus Center. Avidus Way. Aviva Dirty. Aviva Dirty. Aviva Dirty. You fucking you know. You know. Uh, you know Aviva. Aviva you know Dirty. You know. Anyways, of course. Uh, yeah. It's mainly just quiet, though. Uh, as you guys aren't planning, um, you do not know where these keys- Like, you know what these keys go to, like, a door or something, uh, Karis, but you don't know where they go. I'm gonna try to recall, like, the directions where to go with, like, these actual keys to where I can use them. It was like, we were in the cave, the big- Centipede skeleton, mm -hmm. and then you go further back, I believe. Yes, effectively. Huh. All right. So, I guess I'm gonna like look for, I guess Heinrich and the others, and see if they want to join. Uh, Heinrich is lifting rocks uh, near Garrick. Ah. Hmm. Here's nice rocks you have there. Yep. Say, um, you want to help me with something? If it's to get your totem, you're better, you're fucking lucky I'm not breaking your teeth for it. What is this thing? Okay, I'll take that as a no. I shall <laughs> I'll leave you to what, what, these rocks. Please do. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna let, let that be. Okay. And I'm gonna go head over to the the medical. Wait, no. I guess this is just gonna have to be a me only trip. There's only I. Are you trying to bribe me with pity? No, I was just saying I was going on my own. You do your own rocks. I'll be fine. Plus, I'm sure you're not in the very much mood to do anything, so. I wasn't saying you should come along, I was just saying that's what my plan was. Oh, you your thing got one of our friends killed. I... Us going after the totem got one of our best, one of our friends killed, and you just think it's just, oh, an adventure. I, I barely know her! I've only known you people for like two days! Well? Be a little yes. more considerate, why don't you? I am! I am feeling pity, but it's gonna sulk around and do nothing. I will sulk to my heart's content. You may do that, but I am not. Alright. And plus, aren't Leave you all them. undead? And that has to do with it how? I don't know, I thought undead things come back to life. S somehow. If you kill an undead, it is dead. It doesn't come back. You know what? I'll leave you to your rock sulk. I'm going to do my things. If you wish to insult me, do it behind my back and not consider it. I don't care. You do your thing. I came down here for this. I've been stuck in this stingy hole for the past two days. And I plan to get what I want. Ta-ta! Oh, get it already and stop fucking complaining! Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna look at this book. All right. Uh, to your knowledge, yes. The the journey you go through is after where Seraph was at. I guess. Who's like the head honcho of like the palace place here again? Uh, there's the mother, but you can't really speak to her unless you want to. What about her like envoy? There is Garrick and Harris. Oh, I guess I'll like go talk to Garrett then. Alright. Hey, um... Is hey man, I'm right here. Right across. <laughs> oh, right sorry. Garrett gets running right across from... Uh, at an actual forge area near uh, Heinrich. Looks at you. Uh, yes. Ah. Ah, Garrett. Thank you. Um, I was just wondering. Uh, I'm planning to go deep into the caves. I've gotten these special arcane keys. To get a specific terms, is there any sort of things I should watch out here in the caves? Maybe additional 
centipedes mm. or anything unsavory well, of course, that I'm not prepared for. Well, the centipedes are an issue, yes. Uh, some of the worms and other sort might not like you. I think there is a bear somewhere in the cave. I am unsure of that. It might have been dead. It might have been slain. Not quite sure. Uh, other than that, we killed that corruption knight. We killed that chaos knight. I th you should be fine, I'd imagine. I'd hope. The cave is expansive, though if you're looking for a tome of some sort, which you have mentioned a couple of times, you'd be better off looking after the s uh, that area where that snake thing was. Ah, yes. There's a that's... lot more ship wreckage that way, and that's more where you'd find it. Perfect. Do you, is there some kind of uh, map that you all have of this area? Or am I just going to have to rely on intuition? The map isn't Ooh. fully accurate anymore, as sometimes uh, things shake up the caves a little. Twists and turns. But uh, he pulls what appear to be uh, an extra from a, uh, some sort of copy stack of sort. This is about the best I have. It's mapped as this area. It has uh, Mr. Neville's feeding grounds before he... Oh. Uh, it has, I believe... I point to a bit. Uh, best, be best Bestial Sanctum. Although you've already been there to my knowledge. Uh, past yes. that is... Well, I didn't make this map, actually. It was Harris who made it. He's more of the... He's a little more courageous than he looks for the most part, sometimes. Hmm. Though it could just be uh, unkempt curiosity. Uh, but, of course, uh, after that and after the, the Seraph's Song is what is labeled as on this map, it seems, seems to be uh, a door that goes to those keys that was made by the mages, and I believe it leads outside of the cave. There is still a lot more. The map he hands you is like a fragment. It's clear the the cave is fucking huge. That's also because it's a continued dungeon that you'll be back at later. Uh, of course, the tome should be that way. Uh, that's where more of the shipwreckage is, and that's where most of the mages escaped out of, or the ones that... Well, it was their command center until we wiped it. Uh, from, uh, wiped them from yes. assistance. I remember hearing something about those sick mages. I think I'm going towards where they held all their things. Further back into that bestial place you mentioned. Yes, yes, of course. I do wish you luck in that, and I, I, I thought the others would be going with you. Though well, Heinrich isn't in good mood, from what no, it seems. No, it's not. Naomi honestly needs the rest. So, I didn't want to bother either of them, plus they are pretty shaken up by the loss. So... I just decided it would be a personal endeavor. Of course, of course. But you are free to go as you wish and do as you wish. You are not bound by contract. You are bound by nothing here. All of the help you have provided us has merely been of your accepting will, and you seem to have a... Uh, hmm. I don't know how this will sound. I've met quite a few different people. This body had met quite a few different people before it ultimately gave itself to become what it is now. You seem to be somewhat of a wild child, a free spirit. Uh, <clears throat> antelope running in the woods sort of deal. <clears throat> so... Well, something along those lines. Yes, I think it'd be best you get out of here and find the tome you're looking for in the process. Ah, perfect. Well, I'm sure I will return here, because it's one place I'm familiar with, but I do hope I come back victorious, so... Thank you for the advice, and more importantly, the map. Very grateful for it. For now, I am off. All right. And I shall embark on my journey. All right. He wishes you luck in your travels. Well, you are off on your journey, and yeah, you go through the Bestial Sanctum. You go through the route that you took to get into uh, Seraph Song, as it is named on the map, and you are met with a door. It is a large room, there are no animals, no creatures, and there are, flanked on both sides of you, are wreckage of the ship that was at some point used as some sort of town or something of the sort. Though, I should note, a lot of this wreckage has been repurposed. A lot of it has been kept intact. Some of it is blatantly magic, because you can practically smell it in the air. The whole room feels, smells, and if you could taste air properly, uh, in some way, shape, or form, you'd be tasting magic down your throat like there was no tomorrow. Uh, but... 
uh, there was at one point seemed to be some sort of containment cage uh, that was between these two uh, fractured parts of the ship. And this appears to be the middle of the ship outright. Uh, as I've said before many times, you guys and the the mother and Garrick and them seem to have no idea how big the ship really was. So, you know, it feels a little distorted. Oh, big, Mark. I'm just really baffled how fucking big this thing is. How big this ship is, how big this cave is. Alright. Of course, you can approach this door, or you can search the, the wreckage first. It is up to you. I think I'll search a little bit of the wreckage, see if I can find anything that could be of use. Maybe some gold lying around, or maybe right. a spent torch. Alright, give me an investigation, Jim. Sure thing. Oh, that's a... <laughs> that's a four. <laughs> wood and more wood. Yeah, wood and more wood. There's plenty of chests, but most of them are locked up tight, but they've already been opened. Ah. Some of them are spilling armaments, but it's pretty basic swords. You see what would have been a spell swords uh, sword at some point, but it's it's pretty fucked. It's bent, it's rusted, and there are holes in it. So it's seen. Ugh. It definitely saw the usage, but it, its user definitely didn't see it for very long. You can make another one if you wish. Uh, you are you want to check the left or the right? Because there, there's both left and right. I think I'm gonna check to the left. I'll roll another. All right. Um, I'll do another investigation. Right. That one is in an 11. An 11. There is still a lot, of course, as you'd expect. Though, as it seems so far, you're finding more and more, as you do find one of these chests that is was magically sealed somehow, but the magic has worn, on, worn off enough for you to open it. And in it is a red tome with an eye on the front, the one you've been looking for. Ooh. And next to it is what appears to be a small journal. As well. Hmm. A small journal. I'll pick it up and crack it open. See if I can maybe like read some like the beginning excerpts. Mm -hmm. See what it's about. It seems to be a log of things that happened at sea. Though the owner of the book, as written in its first page, is aged 23, Harris Gages. It's a pretty simple Ooh. book, and it go. It's a pretty simple uh, little journal. It goes over large what was happening on the ship, anything notable, some alchemy experiments, how to make, basically, uh, as well. It, think of it as recipe book as well, kind of. If you wanted to learn how to make basic health potions that would heal, ten, maybe fifteen points of health, you can do that now with just a, a, a intelligence check with either a plus or an advantage, depending on how far you sit in the intelligence area. Uh, but it mainly just deals what happened on the ship, different alchemy tests, and some of it even goes into what they were holding in the area. There's the mention of the tome, which uh, it is noted that he only sort of exits the tome as he's the only one who had the key to this chest originally, uh, and there was the only way he could keep this properly safe. It does mention a large, large snake that was kept alongside most of the artifacts uh, in this uh, part of the ship. That see was see what's left of it. Yeah. That was, so, that was right. captured eventually. And the last bit, though, does appear to be uh, at the moment of... Not at the moment of crash, but afterwards. Uh, mentioning how the mages were effectively uh, being slaughtered left and right due to unfamiliar territory. And that uh, Harris was planning to effectively give himself up and work for whatever was down here. So that he can ensure his survival. That sort of thing. Oh, this is some interesting knowledge. <laughs> Good to know! I'm gonna keep this fancy little journal. Alright. And I'm also gonna take a nice gander at this tome. This tome is a large, almost warlike velvet red with the symbol of an eye on it. And it is, is it packed and packed. The eye itself is like a gold foil, like it's gold lined effectively, so it pops. Somewhat pops in the light against this. Uh, and the title of this book uh, is is effectively eye into the soul the first few pages go over what is a soul and what is an eye though it defines oh. the term eye and soul as different things of course eyes being literal eyes souls being literal souls it does define in its own definition uh, eyes being a gateway and souls being a conduit effectively and that items and, just... and that items can be imbued with a conduit conduit but they need an eye to get in effectively an eye hmm. 
Mm. Item eye conduit is effectively how they're made. There are many different materials you can use. There are iron, stuff like iron doesn't hold stuff well, but wood and a lot of more natural basic materials, even raw iron seems to hold stuff a lot better. And it does mention that if you were a blacksmith trying to work with such stuff, you basically have to do such an extraordinary lengthy process to craft a blade that can hold a soul that it could take you years on years if you are new, and even then it could still take months on months if you are a master of many thousands of years. What it does mention is to extract the soul, you have to destroy the item. These items, because of how they are imbued, are effectively, if you destroy them in the wrong way, as each item needs a special destruction or removal in some way, you have to do it so particular that only the creator of the weapon knows how to do such a thing as they have to build mm. it into it. And that if you destroy ah. it wrong, the soul is lost. And effectively, the undead, obviously, they exist in this world. The party's undead. There is the undead, and there is undeath. These are two separate ideas, technically. Undeath is undead is a soul being physically stuck somewhere. That That's what makes spirits and phantoms. In the book, it mentions that you could get a basic spirit, a basic phantom, and technically you would be freeing the soul, but they'll be malicious. And in some case... Uh, in some places that have tried to do it, and it does mention a small story of a more richer man who wanted to uh, save his wife from a disease she was struggling with, you effectively create a wraith, a, a purely malicious spirit that, no matter what, will end up hurting somebody, and is constantly hostile due to how much of them has been so ruined and spoiled through the process of trying to take them out of an object. There's a bit about patrons in it, though, as well, as some of them are mentioned... Yours is not mentioned, but there are references to it uh, as the what is referred to as the Hexblade is considered many different patrons, as there are many different Hexblades, because Blade is... Hmm. The book describes it as Blade being a universal concept to some stuff, an axe blade, a sword blade, the blade of a knife, which means a Hexblade could be a chef, but a Hexblade could be a warrior. In even getting as far into it, it's possible to be for Hexblade to be a bow and arrow, uh, being mainly the arrows used, and the bow simply shoots them as a way of sending forward a spectral weapon, effectively. Uh, oh. But it mentions fiends, it mentions fey, it mentions most of them. A lot of it is common knowledge you'd know about these things. Don't If a fey asks for your name, don't say your name or don't give it to them because they're asking it to you. But fiends don't make packs with them unless you are utterly sure or can negotiate with them properly or are a fiend yourself. All that sort of stuff. But that is mainly what the book covers. The back is odd. The last 20 or so pages, as there's only around 50 of them, it's a relatively small, it's small for a tome. It's almost more of a light novel in a way. The last 20 pages clearly had something on them, but it's being stifled by some sort of magic. Like, it's physically blocking you from seeing whatever was written originally. Intriguing? Well, but... Hmm. Well, this is... This book contains very handy information. I'm going to... Do I have room in my bag for this tome? Yes, of course. It, 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 it's not that big. Alright, nice. Um, so you said there was a doorway here? Yeah, there's a very large doorway in the stone that Does has... Does it have, like, three different keyholes in it that yes. correspond with the keys I have? Yes. Ooh. In the middle is the circle. On the left is... On the left and right are different, though. They seem to fit both of the other keys. But, obviously this is a puzzle. Mm -hmm. So, there's holes to fit. I mean... I mean, it doesn't seem that hard. You put the triangle key in the triangle hole. You put the circle key in the circle hole. Knowing magic locks, I don't think it's going to be that easy. Remember I said the, the other one, the left can, left and right can accept either key. They also, uh, it is mainly just a simple puzzle of putting in the right place. Ah. Uh, which is basically right. only two patterns mm. for. I could keep pushing on and see what's behind this mm. door. Or I could go back and do additional things before I push on and then get more mm -hmm. people to help me. Yeah. You can also search more of the I, uh, yeah, wreckage. Yeah, I'll just search more of the wreckage to the right around the door. I'm not going to go through it yet. Of course. Make me an investigation check. Sounds good. Alright, that's a 14. 14, alright. 
Don't believe the chests have been opened. Like I said, it's, it's kind of the same where they're spilling out armaments, but they're basic arming swords and stuff like that. Nothing special. There's a few magical chests that are mostly sealed, and for the life of you, you cannot get them open. Whatever is sealing them is beyond your level and beyond your level of magic, as you would imagine is beyond the other people party's level of magic. Though, mm. one, though two of the chests do open. One of them appears to be an odd, very, very odd effigy. It is made purely of silver. There are yellow stripes across it, and there is what appears to be something covering where the eyes of the effigy would be. Some sort of uh, cloth material. I think it's made completely huh. of silver. Strange, how big is this effigy? It is not that large. It's about the size... It It's about the size of the average, like, can of soda, basically. And it's somewhat uh. human-looking as well. The only thing notable is that the slight ears you can see it are kind of pointed, but that's about it. Hmm. You can take this with you if you want to. And the other chest that is openable, that you manage to get open with a little bit of strength and a little bit of prying and a little bit of luck and what magic you can cast to get rid of its magic seal, uh, appears to be mainly just a little bit of gold, some money, and a couple of jewels. Uh, and hmm. a it's mainly it's about 20 silver, 2 gold, 50 copper, and there is an odd-looking mask. Uh, the mask has multiple spider-like eyes uh, and uh, effectively fangs down by where the cheek would be. But it's a, it's more of a masquerade-looking mask, so it doesn't cover your whole face. It only covers, you know, your your top half. It's clearly very <laughs> spidery. If you want to, you can make me a history check. Uh, I can make a history. I'll make a history check to see what this is, and then after that, I think I'd like to make an arcana check to see if there's anything special about this mask. If it's just like a normal mask. All right. Oh, shit. First nat 20 tonight. First nat 20. This. So, spider deities are... They exist beyond, obviously, what the mother would be, though. There's a lot to say about the mother that I can't exactly tell you people yet, because you don't know and haven't encountered it yet. But, for some clarification, there are many different spider deities. There is no singular spider deity. The drow worship different ones, depending on where you sit in the drow's underdark, or any of the small cities they have uh, above land that are mainly covered in... Mainly in forests, almost like uh, proper elves. Uh, what else? But this one appears to be to the spider deity, Lucili. And it is noted by the multiple eyes as there are a lot more eyes, uh, obviously, on it. The fangs are sharp. They look like they could stab into somebody. And this would be the mask a noble drow would wear. This is something you you could wear it, but like it's not what it would be assigned to you, effectively. In fact, if you try to wear it, you can't seem to. Looking a little closer into it, uh, if you'd like to make that Arcana check, I can give you a full description, but I'll give you a minor yep. bit. Yep. Alright. Something oh. is stopping you from wearing it, basically, and the Arcana check may reveal, depending on what you roll. It, it's a one. One. Uh, so something's stopping you. you you're not familiar uh, with I can't magic. Put it on. Yeah. Magic hmm. force field. No. Yeah. But it is oh, the noble. Boy. But it is a mask of a noble drow from a specific underdark city, uh, the city of Selene, S-E-L-E-N, which is named after uh, one of the other translations of the specific spider deity uh, it is granted to and made in worship of. There's something magic wish with it. You don't know, uh, and. Honestly, looking at it, you kind of feel your skin crawl a little bit, and you almost feel spiders on you. And looking at the eyes, they almost look like where you're looking as well, despite being in, in just inky black. As spider eyes are. So this is somebody's mask. It's somebody important, some sort of noble drow, or something of that sort. So if you ever meet them, you could give it to them. Or, or because a lot of drow stuff is very well guarded buy the drow artifacts and stuff like that, you could sell it for a lot of money. It's really up to you whenever you can get to a proper merchant. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to take it with me, but I'm going to like to do like the, like the, like pick it up with like pinching with only two fingers, like, yeah. all right. Whew, all right. Nice. Nice. Really good shit. So I'm not going to go head back to the rest of the spider den. All right. Or go back to the uh, queen's yeah. den. Yeah. You are back and. All right. Nice. Ah. Gary. Nice to see you again. I found the tome. 
That is good to hear, friend. Not only that, I found a couple of other things from a the wreckage, too. A couple of other things? Yes, I found this strange effigy of some sort of pointed-eared humanoid god with bl uh, bindings around the eyes. Some kind of cloth. Uh, do you show this to him? Or uh, you... Yeah, I'll, I'll just like show a little bit of the effigy, just like quickly, just like, here's what it looks like. You'd All be that. best to put that away. The others will not like it. Uh, it is, um... Whoa. Hmm. It is not I, a I nice know. sight among us. Oh, I, oh, apologies. I did not know what that was. No, no need to apologize. All right, I'll keep it in the back. But there's something very peculiar I found. You see, mm -hmm. as I made it one of the chests, I appear to have found a mask that belonged to some very important drow. It looks like spider's eyes. And I'll show mm -hmm. him the masquerade mask. All right. Uh, he grabs it, and he looks it over. Oh, Lucelli. It's to another spider, spider duty, Lucelli, but I don't remember there being any drow on that ship whenever it crashed. Though, of course, in the heat of battle, you don't tend to notice what you're fighting fully. If it was in a chest sealed away, it had to be some point... Obviously, you said it was someone important, but it had to be so important in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it was simply an artifact stowed away, or maybe it was someone on the ships, but drown, drown ability don't tend to leave the Underdark, and especially given where they stand and stuck with the dwarves at the current moment, they don't tend to leave where they live. So we have met a couple, and this body had met a couple of drow traders in its uh, original time. Oh, well, this... Some... There's some kind of to binding that. to it as well. It's a mark of ownership, but I can't... Mm, I can't is... read under dark. I can't read it, so I don't know ah, whose it is. That's a shame. I tried putting it on myself, but I did feel some sort of magical mm. um, blocking from it, where I can't. Do you know of anybody down here who does speak under dark? Um, uh, Harris. I know Harris doesn't. I know the mother. The mother speaks entirely just spider. No, some mm. spider-esque dialect. Harris doesn't speak it, and he knows Goblin for some reason, but uh, that's huh. hardly ever seen usage. Well, if nobody can't, I perhaps could find someone in a later time, but I'm definitely keeping hold of it. All right. Well, I was just wondering about any of the significance of these items I found. Thank you for telling me, especially with that effigy there. Well, I have some important business I had to go take care of, so this will be ta-ta. Alright. I wish you well on your journey. Thank you. I'm gonna go find, like, some sort of, like, um, like, sort of tucked away room where it can, like, just be me. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna, like, sort of, like, get down in sort of, like, a sitting position. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take the sword out of my sheath... Mm -hmm. Place it down on the ground before me. Place both cool. hands on it, and I'm going to attempt to try to commune with my buddy. Right. The yeah. guy that's stuck in it. How many times have you done this? Um, honestly, probably like once, maybe twice. Roll me a. Hmm. Actually, what would this be? This is a weapon that is granted you by your patron, correct? Or is this a weapon you just have? I thought I thought we went over like the whole backstory thing. Is it? Let me. We did my brain. I'm gonna say a no, religion. Uh, Go on. No, I was no. The backstory was say okay. I know both of them are here, but the thing is, is that like my friend, he is stuck in the sword yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to get him out of it. Yeah. And so I was sort of like just like, oh hey, there's a sword. It's like, whoa, what are you doing in here? <laughs> so I'm trying to talk to him. Yeah, uh, make a... make a religion check with advantage. Religion check with advantage? Yeah, religion based you got it. because of how it is stored in. Alright, uh, great. Mm -hmm. Best is a nine. Uh, you can see somewhat of a small shimmering... You can see, uh, mostly just the eye, uh, of your friend, and their voice is a little static and distorted. Well, oh, aren't you good? Uh, 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 good. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to refocus really into it. All right, make another advantage. All right, advantage it is. Ah, there we go. An 18. All right. Oh goodness, the connection was a little spotty there. 
Oh, oh you're good timing, you are. aren't you? Oh, of course I am. It's wonderful to see you again. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Being stuck ah. in here, I don't got much to do. Ah, I'm sure you must be quite bored stuck in iron. Oh, of course. Uh, nothing... Unfortunately, nothing special to do in here. I wish I had something, even a toy, a dog treat even, maybe. Could act like I'm playing frisbee or something. Ah, oh, please, I'd love to give you something, but I don't know how to cram things in a sword. Not my expertise. Yeah. Anyhow, I've been sort of slogging in this cave for the past couple of days, and I haven't defined a specific tone about locking souls into inanimate <laughs> objects, mainly of natural materials and of iron. Hmm. Apparently, I can get you out, but it's a bit of trouble. I have to find who originally forged this sword, and they have to go through a some kind of hyper-specific destruction process, or unless uh, your soul gets stuck as undeath, which I'm sure none of us want. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be quite the bitch to deal with. I've met a few people in undeath before my time in this wretched device, and uh, they are not pretty people. Not happy customers, to say the least. Well, I'll, I'll 100% trust you on that one. So, do you know who forged this, or any sort of idea? I am... To my knowledge, and what I can remember, he's gonna try to make a history check, which he does not have a sheet, so I'm just gonna say his knowledge is a little frazzled and give him just, like, maybe a plus, a plus one to the roll. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Shit, that's an eight. I think Damn. the sword was commissioned by somebody. I don't think it was made specifically with putting me in mind. But it might have been made by, it might have been commissioned, might not have been. Well, uh, do you, can you have any idea who commissioned it? Maybe I can track back mm -hmm. through them. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like that, uh, well, I uh, get little peepings here and there of uh, who you're all going with here, and I uh, gotta say, real odd set of folks. Uh, kind of like that, yeah. uh, that old Russia guy, succubus, I think, something like that. Some kind really? of big, fancy, smancy one of that. You're telling me that she specifically went for it, or are you telling me it's some kind of succubus? Some kind of succubus. Not a retro, but some kind of succubus. Mm. Some kind of big fancy smancy one at that. Ah, God. That's good to know. I'd love to ask her, but unfortunately we had a tango in with a nasty chaos night. Mm. I think she just kicked the bucket. Uh, well, but, you can always ask other succubus if you come across them, but I'd be wary of the cannibalistic ones. Oh you, you god, those actually doing. exist. I thought those were rumors. Yeah, I've had a couple of tangle, tangle, uh, tanglements with them once or twice, and uh, not a pretty sight. You do not oh, want to be, uh, Lord. you know, in the new Good lord, divide. of course you have. I'd be surprised if you weren't. Uh, uh, guilty as charged. Uh, of course. Uh, but regardless, regardless, some big fancy fancy one, I'd just be wary of who you ask, and if somehow your friend pops up back from uh, the dead, I'd ask her, see if she can rack her brain on it. Ah, I don't perfect. think, uh, I don't think the cat'll know anything, and, uh, that odd human, I think, is what he is. He's more like a goliath or a giant with that height and that stature. I don't Tell know if he'd know it. anything. Yeah, a wretched would be my best bet. Yeah. But thank you so much. Also, um, what is... How the hell did I learn how to summon a familiar? I have a little Charles now. Well, if the... Hmm. Did the ties that bond still bond you, boy? Hmm. Yes, I do have things I want to do when I go home. After I break yeah. you out of this sword. Then I suppose until you commit a cardinal sin of sorts for breaking me out, you're still bound by the master's power. Uh, Hex blame whichever one of those fools you ran with uh, to get me here and end up with me. Until then, you're stuck with them. You're still contributing. You're still a uh, small fry to them, though. Uh, so familiar is uh, not well, depending on where you're looking and who you're asking. Uh, that could be light work for some, or a lot for two, or a lot for some of the more amateurs. But you don't seem to have too much problem with it now, do you? Hmm. No, I just need to get a couple of things together, and I surprisingly hit it on the ball. Uh, you can see. Uh, by the way, I should describe this. The way you're talking to him is not like a just like a hologram. Whatever part, like you'll see parts of his body moving effectively, like what's what's moving and whatnot. So if his eyes shift, you'll see his eyes there for a moment. Or like you're mainly staring kind of at just like a basically a hologram of a mouth. Uh, he basically like puts his hands together as if he's praying, then spreads them out. You know, 
across almost like the praise the sun emote or just you know to like yeah. go through a big hug. then i guess that's your, then i guess that familiar was god granted to you by your master huh strange i never thought i really had one of those masters i thought it was just sort of an agreement between you and me that you would lend me some of your power and i'd help you out uh, unfortunately through association by where i'm stuck you're bound there too, but if you were to simply oh. cast me aside and talk to the man himself, or whatever you would consider a uh, some sort of some sort floating in the sky or down below, wherever that damned thing lives, you could get out of it. But that would leave me hanging in a uh, yeah. He basically like the motion of like you know a new spears. I'd rather not be stuck in a knot like that. Ugh, I wouldn't imagine it. I'm just focused on right now of getting you out. Of course, and I'm daily thinking then, for that. Hell, afterwards, I know you're gonna be bored as hell in there. Maybe once I bust you out, we can get a nice round. We can talk. Yeah, it would be nice to actually feel a body again, or feel warmth and in, in bones and skin. Speaking uh, of your body, is that just lying around somewhere, or are you just kind of in this thing entirely? Well, I'm in this thing, and, uh... Well, you might have to track down my body at some point, but if someone else is willing, or, God forbid, you delve into the darker arts and make some kind of puppet or some kind of doll of sorts, you could, uh, do effectively what happened here again and make me proper whole thing that can move and live. But I don't, but I don't know exactly how you roll in that regard, and honestly, uh... for someone such as yourself, I doubt you'd be able to do that much to spawn somebody who is, uh, legally practiced in a city that doesn't outlaw it. Yes. So, Unless it's a toy maker. That's gonna be sort of a last ditch option. I mean, I'll have better luck trying to find your body. It's somewhere out there. Somewhere on this damned continent. <laughs> Gives me plenty of room to look. Anyhow, yeah. it's wonderful talking to you again. Thanks for the information. You're welcome, and, uh, I'd like to talk a little more at some point. It gets lonely in here, you know? <laughs> ah, of course. Once I take any more downtime, I'll check in more. I thought that you'd be, I don't know, somehow busy in there, but uh, I didn't know it was just blank. You figure whenever you can technically make whatever you want and make anything appear in your mind in some odd, weird gym plane or something, have a lot of fun, but I've already gone through everything that I'd like to experience in here. That um, is about as organic well, as it can get, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that sucks. Well, uh, I have some good business I have to go take care of. I guess this will be uh, parting ways for now, but I'll make sure to check back in soon. All right, much appreciated, partner. All right. I'll see you when we get out of here. And I guess I'll take the hands off the sword and cut the connection. All right. Woo. All right. It's good work. Now I have some. F now at least I know what I'm going to do next. And I'll put the sword back in the sheath and head back out to everyone else. See how right. people are still doing. Maybe uh, head back to the infirmary. All right. Uh, Heinrich is still. <laughs> it, I, I'm, it, I'm not. I'm not yeah. Is that, by the way, is Heinrich, Heinrich still just fucking rock and stone over there? I think by now he would have gotten tired, so he's probably just, you know, um, what's the relaxing? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to not go there and go to the infirmary. Uh, yep. Alright. You see Harris looks a little looks a little perturbed as he's working. Uh Harris. Uh yeah. Hi, hey, hi, ha oh, ha hi. There you are. Hey, what's what's wrong? You look like you saw a ghost. Uh, I mean, I might have, I, I don't know, you know, all the fumes from these chemicals, you know, they just, they, uh, they, he has the fucking fakest smile I can imagine. Uh, yeah, they Be get honest. you sometimes. God, you are terrible at lying. Yeah, uh, my parents raised me, oh, my parents raised me to be a somewhat honest person at least, so that's a good quality, I, I well, suppose. Uh, I, you can spin it as that. I won't go into it. I, um, how's Naomi doing? Um, well... You're. Me, 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 me. Is he me? Uh, um, he 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 pulls back one of the like coverings where you imagine like behind would be a bed, so he actually has privacy. Yeah. And uh, Duck isn't here, but you do see Oresha holding uh, Naomi with multiple what? arms. 
Yeah, I, I kind of yeah. You see, like, he's looking like white oh. in his face. What? Yeah, what? that's that's did, what I said. What the hell did you do? I I didn't do any of this. This is not my. If this was my doing, I'd be sitting here as happy as a, as as an award winner or some god given royalty. Oh. I I didn't do this. How in the hell? What? She she was dead. How did she have t two more? <laughs> she. Well, I mean, they are, they are, oh, good lord, I can see why you were on a fluster. I can barely understand this. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, the others are undead. I don't know about you, you don't really give up the, uh... I, I am not, I kind, I guess they were undead. I don't know how they're that way, I'm just normal. I don't know how this works. So, oh, okay, so, yeah. at least good news is, she's not dead. That's yeah. good. I mean, she's sitting like a statue right now, but I mean, I think that's normal. I think she's kind of getting over the shock of coming back as well. <sighs> you know, I'm sure being, you know, resurrected isn't exactly an easy ordeal. Yeah, I imagine. It's not quite comfortable. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Right. I, I would go talk to Heinrich, but I feel like we are not on very good terms right yeah now. i i uh I, I hold my tongue earlier i had plenty of things i wanted to say i uh, i i didn't really care that she was dead i mean yeah people oh, die honest you, i mean honest with you me neither i've only been known them for like what two days I yeah think? i've known them for and, less and then it's time like, and now it's so like oh it's your fault she's mm -hmm. dead because you wanted to go get that book Ooh. I think they should have just ran, honestly, if it's a fight too hard for them. I mean, that's, like, not a hard thing to understand, is it? I don't... That, that would have made a lot of sense. We could have just... I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not gonna matter, because they're alive. She's back, she's back, it's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, all, all this... Uh, hip, hip, hooray, all is fine in the in the caves. Uh, yes, in the caves. Oh. Yeah. How do you, like, live down here for this long? Oh, I, well, I get my food, I get my nutrients, I eat, the chef cooks, occasionally Garrick goes out and, like, hunts and such. Mmm, <laughs> yes, my nutrients. I mean, I don't really need to eat too much, though, normally it's kind of weird, and then drink, and I get my water from what falls from then, I just purify it or whatever, I just make something like that. I guess that's a good thing, alchemy, right. you can kind of create whatever if you know what you're doing, but... A lot easier to simply blow yourself up. Right. Well, um, I I actually just got back from going sitting through some old wreckage. I finally found that tome I was looking for. Thank God. Oh, nice. I was starting to think that might take forever, or you might not oh, find well, it at all. And, and I found something else. I found a journal. Next to uh, it. Uh, a, jur a journal, you say? Yes, and it has your name on hey, it. Hey, we can. Hey, can we? Can I we... was wondering if yeah. I could return it. Oh, it that's... Is yours. okay. I thought you were gonna hold it like above my head. You know? What? No. Why would I do that? It's yours. I mean, I'm sure even looking for it. It's only was sitting there. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take I'm it. I'm not here to talk. Like... No, I'm here to work. Yeah. So, yes, here's your journal back, but it does raise some curiosity. What do you... what? I, thanks, man. Uh, th thanks for finding this for me. What do you mean by curiosity? I don't know. Well, according to this, you were part of the original crew on the ship. He, like... Eric isn't exactly a strong man, so like him grabbing on the shoulders is kind of, like, wimpy. And I think he's only like an inch or two off your height. Uh, he shows you, hey man, they they don't need to know that. They don't need to know that. That risks a lot on me. And if they know it, I don't think they'll kill me. But I don't want to, uh, you all right, know. All right, your secret is safe. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm lucky. You're lucky. I found that before anyone else did. It's all right. It's just between you and me. Yeah, because no one else the freak. Uh, yeah, if I can have it back, that'd be nice. And uh, uh, he hands you uh, like twenty silver. Consider it a binder's bee. Hmm. All right, a 
Okay. So, um, I suggest you keep that under lock and key, then. Oh, I am going to. Perfect. So, I guess now I can go break the news to Herrick. And I do have some... Well, I found that there was this door there, too, and I happen to have the keys to it, but I felt reluctant to go in. I felt reluctant to go in. Are you, like... I don't know, you seem to care about them, but do you, like, you're, like, you're warming up to them, you think? I mean, mm, I guess they maybe. deserve to get out as well. They do, and I do know that Heinrich cares about Russia a lot due to, you know, how much I... Oh, I want to get into that. Well, I know that he cares, and I thought it would just be a nice gesture to tell her that, uh, tell him that she's actually all right. I think it will be yes. It's it's courtesy, really. Yeah. Plus, I don't know what that means or what's going on with them. So I won't ask any more to it. I'll just give some basic information. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, what's I, it? I, Question is, I don't know where that door goes. I mean, the door. At the wreckage. I don't, I don't know either. I've never been over there. I just kind of ah. sit here and I make potions and stuff and help around when I can. Hmm. All right. Well, I will leave you to it. Um, make sure these two are well, and I'll just be on my way. All right. I hope. Uh, good luck on whatever journey you're going on, man. Thank you. It's going to be an interesting. I'm gonna go head on and go like, sort of like get closer towards Heinrich. Right. Hey, hello. What do you want? Um, I have some news. Aresha isn't dead. She's back. This is a practical joke. No, it's not. You can go check in the infirmary yourself. She's lost her wings and she has these two brand new arms for some godforsaken reason, but she is back. I don't know how, I don't know what the hell you guys did to be able to pull off something like that, but I... We made, would... a, we made a deal with some weird uh, afterlife, uh, whatever you call it. Ah, well, it seems like your friend Aresha just struck another deal, and she is back with Naomi that's... as we speak. That's not good, but good in the sense that she's back. Oh. Well, I don't know what deal she made to get those arms, but I just thought it'd be good for you to know. All right, then. Where are you off to? Um, I was off to check that door I had these keys for. I went there earlier to go get the book, which, pro tip, I have it now, and I got a couple of things with it, but I was mainly going to see what was behind that door, but it's a bit reluctant. I was worried I might get shot. Yes, well... You know, there's these mages, and I'm worried they might be just waiting behind the door, turning me into paste. Well, I guess we can help with that. I was... If you would like, I know it still must be very jarring for you for all this to happen. I know you're not in the best of mood, so I was just meaning it as more of a passive offer than insinuating anything, really. I'll take it, then. Huh. All right. I'll and go sure to... I'll go There's... talk to Aresha if she is actually uh, awake. They are both like, out like lights. They are very oh. slow. Well, you can go see her if you'd like. And plus, I think some walking around could, you know, help get your head straight. Maybe. All right, lead the way. All right, let's go. And I'll, I'll show them the way towards the door. All right, we go past the first bit of the section. You go into... Ooh, yep. We are still... Well, we still got like 12 minutes, so I mean... We still got time to talk about the door and this, the wreckage and stuff. Uh, you guys ah. go past the Beachill Sanctum, as you did before, and go past it a bit, uh, as long as it's listed on the map. And you are at the door with uh, two very large... The room itself is large. It's like 300 by 300, if not more than that. Uh, you've never seen it before, but it is a very large... 300 by 300 room. At the direct middle of the room, there is uh, what appears to be a very large door built into the stone that seems to have the marks that were on the keys uh, on it. And there are two, and there's one set of wreckage and one set to your right that seem to be where the boat would have connected, and they are fucking huge. Ah, so okay. this is where the boat was, which honestly is fucking massive. 
I've heard of stories of large ships. Hmm. Though, more or less, it could have been an uh, over-exaggeration, though this one seems to be more story-like. Almost like an arc of sort. Good thing. Well, there's a plenty amount of things here in this wreckage. I happen to find a couple things myself. I saw some weapons lying around, if you'd like to take a look at them. Well, if they're not rusted to hell... Nah, I know I, a Russia... I just saw, like, a couple, alright. There is a spell sword in there, turns out. But the thing is super bent and riddled with rust holes, so... Uh, maybe Arisha could fix it, but honestly, it sounds like a lost cause. But if well, you wish to look, feel free to. I restoration, really to... restoration spells could probably bring it back, mostly. <laughs> Unless it's it very... has magic on it that can deflect it. Then. Uh, very well could, but I am not well-versed in that kind of magic, so I can't really tell you how that could be done. But Some of the people out. in my platoon, in my in, in my little guard that I used to be in, I still am, but uh, old group before I had to transfer. Oh. Um, we had one person who used to would know it. There would always be one person per group who knew how to restore things, usually via spell magic or you know physical means. They were basically called the blacksmith of the group. Though they weren't given a, a crucible and everything else like that. They just knew how to restore things. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. I so... wasn't it. I was the tank. Huh. Oh, no. I thought you were the cook. <laughs> I mean, I can't cook. Oh, I didn't know that. I was just having a little bit of jokes. Anyhow, the main thing of intrigue is this door, which I have the keys for, and I'm thinking of opening. And now have that you, I have you as company, tried the keys? I've not. I was opening to be in some company so I could have some backup, just in case if anything goes south. Then, oh, hey, question. Yes. Did, uh, did I also take that lo uh, short rest? I forget. Everyone got a long rest. Oh, long a rest. Long okay. rest. Yeah. I mean, I got my slots back, but my health is full, so I'm doing well. Right. Okay. So nice, you're back at full, and you got all your, uh... Those slots Don't back. you have, like, more slots at this point since you're level 5? Yeah, I'm level 5. I now have four level 1s and two level 2s. Wow, that's like six total. Nice! Yeah, six. <laughs> I work with what I have. Anyway, uh... All right. You so, haven't tried the keys yet. What, bro, we can, we can pair in spell slots now, bro? Shut up. Dick sizes, Heinrich wins. Bruh, 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 bruh. Four level one, three level twos, two level threes. Fuck, suck my cock. Yeah, but, uh, do you win the dick size competition? Yeah, Naomi no, wins. You're a girl. You don't- Why? You, <laughs> you don't even have one! No, 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 no. Sorry, she's Japanese. She has a foot. She's a futon. Oh, oh, I'm what? not. You know what? I was gonna pause for and say something. But I'm not going to. I'll save it for after. We're not gonna. We're not gonna explain this on recording. Ooh, I let's. I'm going to put these keys in the door and open the door. There is the middle slot. You try both combinations, which is the middle slot. It's always seems to be the round key. All right, which round is the bigger key. one, and then left, uh, your square key, right, your triangle key. You try both, but it is the second one, which is a triangle. Circle, square. Works. The door opens, and this is where I hit you with some fucky bucky. You're looking right. at an open, normal ass like field with like a small village in the distance. What, what? the hell? This it's some kind. I don't know what this is. Can I thinking... make an Arcana check? Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Fuck, that's a zero! That's a zero! How did you get a zero? Oh, you have oh you have a minus one. Welcome to the club. Alright, I'll I'll roll. You wanna okay, concert. yeah, yeah, please. Heinrich is just as that's baffled. That's a seventeen. As... That's a seventeen. That's good, that's good. There is no arcana or magic outside of this door. The door is around? magical. Everything around you is magic. It's a, this it's shipwreck a quote, a quote is magic. 
Okay, it's a so dimensional door. This room is very magic. This must be some kind of gateway door. To outside? Apparently so. I don't... can't tell what village that is, but it is outside. The grass is too green. It, hold on, it's a field, so is it yeah. like green grass or is it sandy? It is completely normal. It is green grass. The, well, must, that must be more inland. Or somewhere else in time. This has what appears to be a small village far off in the distance. Hmm. Well, I would suggest... We could I do... would... Uh, I'm not gonna walk in there without everyone else. Oh, no, I was saying the same thing. I was saying we could wait to get the others back, and then we can... Finally get some fresh air. Or we could, we could ask the, the spider people. We could. Garrick might know something. I did talk to a little bit with... I, I talked with um, the potion people earlier in Paris, but he didn't know much. And I'm not sure how much Garrick will know. Because I, I don't think they came out this far. If you ask me. Well... I'll try to see what information I can press from them. If they lie, I'll, you know, try to do some intimidation. Well, yes, you got plenty to intimidate with. Yep. Anyway. Uh, right. make sure that door doesn't change. If it changes somewhat, like, the location-wise, hmm. say something. Also, is it daytime? Yes, do it's, that it's daytime. I feel like the, this I is like should gonna be mention, some this field shit. is not super well kept, and when I say well kept, I mean most of the grass is dead. You feel cold going through. Heinrich, whenever you guys Ooh. beached, it was roughly like middle of summer. This is autumn weather. Oh, where? That's on the other side of the fucking planet, most likely. <laughs> so cold through there. Surely we are going to be transported to another. Do we? We. Do we feel the cold? Yeah, you can feel the cold coming Just through the door. the door. Ooh, man. How long have we been down here? thought it was summer. It's still summer. Then... Oh. This that's to, an that's to another continent in fucking entirely. I would not touch that. Um, Wait. I'd say close it for now, just in case you don't All have All right, to. I'll shut the door. Wait. So only this triangle, circle, square combination worked in the door. Yeah. But if I, like, reverse it, instead of making it, like, square, circle, triangle, it doesn't open. It doesn't do anything different, it just doesn't open. Yeah. Okay, okay, but when I put the keys back in, and if I open it again, it goes to the same place. Same place, same feeling of cold, same feel. Hmm. Okay, I, right. I was... Th I was thinking what he was thinking, like, different combination means different place. That's what I was thinking, but it's just one combination just to open the door itself, and it goes to the same place. So okay. okay. Alright, keep that closed. Keep the keys on me. So, at least we have somewhere new to go if we want, unless if we have things you all need to do here, which I'm guessing so. Well, I'm on an entirely different continent than I needed to go to. I needed to get, uh, I forget, Riley, what was the continent Andrus. I needed to get to? Oh, I needed to get to Andrus. I don't know what continent we're on now. Nobody hmm. seems to have told us. Wait, I, I'm i from here, right? Yeah, you were so born on Octivia. Yeah, this this is Octivia. I'm from here. Well, I'm... God, what so fucking far? Wait, where? What continent were you from again? I'm from... Uh, oh god. Andrus. I'm from Andrus. I was trying to get a boat to the other side of it. Andrus is a pretty big continent, if you know. Man. <laughs> you are. I'm now far from were... home. Man, that was a... Uh, was definitely the wrong like boat. Fiber, man. No, it was a two... It was a... It, it was a two-stop boat. First, it would go to, um... First one, it would go to Octavia... It appears that I got off on the wrong stop. Second stop was supposed to be at Andrus. Uh, mm. Also, it was more of a party, uh, party ball yacht. I forget what they called them. Wait, mm. hold on. I just said what the name was. It's a yacht. Though, uh, well, it was well, more fun. I'm sorry that you're um. <laughs> welcome to my home, and I'm sorry that you're stuck here. 
I honestly thought, knowing a native here, that you would probably be more fish-like. Mm. Also, well, I heard I heard Octavia had a lot of fish people in it. Mm. Um, do I know of any fish people? Yeah, there's tridents and like duahans that are relatively frequent on the continent. There's like basically a whole city on the ocean near, like it's it's somewhere off the coast, where basically a bunch of water just disappeared, peered like in a large square, and a lot of trident, dulahan, and drow live there, and it's like a tourist spot basically. It's a large oh, tourist. Well, it's also a pirate some... city technically. There's a lot of well, pirates there. Um, you wouldn't be too wrong saying that. Plenty of Dulahan live here, and there's a massive Dulahan Triton city that's off the coast. That's sunken into the ocean, but there's like a square of like air on it. Or it's just like it's water drops city. It's very strange. I've but heard yes, of that. yes, but there are plenty of fish people around here. So you are correct in that. Well, uh like I said, I just I need to get to Andres. That, the field, I would have to say, looks similar, but it would be summer in Andrus. It's just, it's very odd, if you if you know what I mean. Just very, very fucking weird. Hmm, that door would go to somewhere with s such nippy weather, you'd be right. If I had a map, we could figure it out, but the only one I have is the, the little bit of this cave. The only map I have seems to be of places we've explored. I've just been kind of sketching it out. Yeah. Alright. Well, at least we know what the door does now. We should probably head back and wait for the yeah. others to wake up. We can deal with the news and see what we'll do from here. Indeed. Would you like to go so, back to the, yep, the spider people? Yep. Do you want to do that next session or do we want to do it now? We can do it next session, if you want. Uh, if What do you think, Not? Um, I'm cool with doing it now. Garrett? But I'm not sure like, what we would even do there. Garrett, the let's say you. Actually, no. I'm Actually, cool no, with us not doing it. I'm cool with us doing it. I don't care either way. We'll do it next good, session. I could. Next I session? Next session? Um, uh, I couldn't find my unmute, bro. That's so true. Oh next session? God. Because I have some funny things about what's going to happen. Uh, yeah, that okay. was session, uh, and I will get Yippee! to editing this tomorrow, because I have tomorrow off, so, you know, last week's episode should be uploaded now, you can watch it over, but I don't fucking care, um, and you guys gotta wait, like, a whole, actually, I'm, I could just, whenever I upload tomorrow, I could just drop, like, a link and just make it, um, what do you call it, unlisted, so if you guys want to listen to it, whatever. Right. So, yeah. This LP is Andrus Octavia. Yep. Is this gonna be an entirely new, like, continent that you're making?